How's everyone doing? I am Rich Cholenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So what I'm going to get into today is not letting the seasons ruin your workouts or stop you from working out is what I should say as well. One of the things I get asked the most probably is how, how was I very consistent throughout my life when it came to working out? And the truth is I did not build all these rules around working out. Uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos or listened to any of my podcasts, I don't get caught up with even days, weeks, months. What I basically look at is every day, regardless what time I can get to the gym, I'm going to try to get there if it's not an off day. Uh, Time-wise, I don't care what time I get there. Uh, I don't just say, for instance, um, I can only work out Monday through Thursday or only, I can only work out three days a week. Whatever I feel like doing, I do, okay? I don't let anything also stop me from doing what I wanna do when it comes to fitness. And I think a lot of people don't even realize that they have these weird rules, I guess you could say, throughout their life. They don't even realize they're doing them. And, you know, like a lot of people, say New Year's resolution, hypothetically. I hate that shit, but we'll get into that. A lot of people join a gym, as you know, around New Year's. I guess they want to get their body prepared for spring and summer. Or they just want to lose weight in general, whatever the case may be. So they may join that gym in January, February, March, or just work out in general, I should say. They work out for those three, four months. They get in really good shape. Uh, for you know for spring let's say and then summer comes around and they start to kind of like kind of get a little lazier I should say to us not everybody but a lot of people during summer they're busy especially if you're in the Midwest or up east you know they won't enjoy their summer so they're not gonna be working out as often and I get it right and when fall kicks in this is where I think people start to struggle a lot of times that I've seen because like I said, they started working out a few months after New Year's, they floated in the spring, they still kind of worked out, they saw some results, summer they enjoyed themselves, and now it's hard to kind of come into fall, I think, because of one, I think the weather's changing. I also think because of holidays, uh, including, even if it's Halloween, no shit, like a lot of people like enjoy Halloween, and then it kind of floats into Thanksgiving, and as we know, Christmas and New Year's, and a lot of people, as you know, may be like, oh, I'm gonna start again after New Year's. And I don't mean to say that everybody goes through this, but I think a lot of inconsistency comes within the weather and the season. There's also kind of excuses too. Here's one thing I'll tell you. If you have a problem, let's just say working out in general, become more creative. I talk about this all the time. Try different things in and out of a gym. I don't care. But say you are somebody that like certain times of the year, you just don't want to be inside let's say the spring and summer then it comes along maybe you don't want to be inside a gym you want to be outside maybe change your workouts to something that's more outside orientated in the winter you know you may not like being inside a gym you might want to find something else to do you could swim maybe you could go play basketball volleyball you can do other things as well you don't have to also get bogged down doing the same thing all year all right if you love the outdoors again you may even want to start doing things like, you know, you can hike in the summer or spring, whatever the case, you can hike whenever you want, but also in the winter, maybe go skiing more, more snowboarding, uh, whatever you want to do, cross country skiing, for instance, figure things out to do where it's very interesting, but don't let the weather or the seasons really kind of stop you from, you know, really staying in shape. And I think that's what a lot of people do throughout their life. They don't want to admit it. The weight fluctuates, their eating habits change depending on the season. I get it, that happens to me as well. But the one thing I've been consistent with is working out, okay? I'm trying to exercise, I should say, besides just saying workout, I guess you could say, in and out of the gym. So I just thought I would really do a video on this because I know a lot of people struggle with it. But like I said, the more creative you become if you have these type of issues, the better off you're gonna be, all right? So don't let the seasons get you down and don't wait till New Year's to work out or any of that bullshit. Start immediately the faster you start. I can assure you the better you're gonna feel. And again, I'm not telling you you have to run out and join a gym or go do something extreme. Just start experimenting and trying different things fitness related. And if something has not been working in the past for many, many years, it's time to switch it up. Don't think that it's gonna most likely be different in the future. It's not a lot of times, so just uh, really enjoy yourself. If you don't like what you're doing, find something you do. I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you get a chance, check out my podcast, The Rich Salenzi Show. Oh, what else? I got LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Also get a chance, subscribe. You got any questions, comments, or anything, let me know, all right? All right, take care, and I wish you nothing but the best.